All right, so I'm gonna show how to replace the battery on this iPhone 6 Plus. All right, so first thing you want is to get a replacement battery. Um, make sure if you look for one, you can't really get um, Apple Genuine batteries. Uh, so what you'll do is you go on Amazon, check for good reviews, make sure they have plenty of reviews. This one is a higher capacity and it had good reviews, so that's why we're using that. All right, so the battery's gonna come with this plastic piece on it. We're gonna have to remove that. So just push, hold the um, plastic piece, don't squeeze on it, and then push on the top. Once you push on the top, you'll see it slides out slightly like that. You can go ahead and grab the battery light, lightly. You don't wanna pinch the battery too hard or anything, and then just slide that completely off. All right, so here you can see this is the top and then this is the bottom. You'll know it's the right way because this side has these um, golden pins on it. Okay, so we're going to set that aside for now. And then first thing we're going to do is open up the phone. All right, we're going to do this using a Pentalobe 0.8 or a P2 screwdriver. All right, so first thing, go ahead and remove the two screws on the bottom. Okay, just like this. All right, there's another thing also. I've noticed a lot of these iPhones have charging issues. If your phone has that problem, it might not be the battery. Um, so you'll wanna check inside the phone here. Okay, and uh, check which side has the pins on it. So the pins are actually closer to this side of the phone. So they're actually on the wall of this that edge like that. Um, what you're gonna wanna do, um, I use like a small needle or something. And then you want to make sure to keep away from the pins that are on the side, the back side where the metal is. So I'm going to use the pin and go forward towards the screen while I kind of scrape back and forth here. Okay. And sometimes you'll find that there's like a bunch of lint in there. This one doesn't seem to have that issue. So it's probably okay. But it's always a good idea to check. Sometimes the lint is packed in there really tight. So you kind of want to check. There's a little... I don't know what the, there's a white thing in the middle and the bottom there. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't feel like something that's stuck there. So it's kind of strange. Um, it doesn't seem like it's going to come out if I scrape at it. So, oh, I see. It's supposed to be white at the bottom, but I guess there's some very light lint and dust in there. So I have to kind of scrape that dust off and then that will reveal the entire bottom piece. That's all white. Okay, there we go. So here you can see it's turning more white in there now. I'm going to use this air blower to get the dust out. Okay, clean my desk off. And here you can see it's a lot cleaner now. Um, I'm going to clean it a bit more because there's still some stuff stuck in there. Okay. Again, you want to be careful scraping against the wall where the pins are because you don't want to damage those pins and then your phone won't charge at all. Okay. All right, there we go. So we got all of that cleaned up. Next, we're gonna pop open the screen. If your screen is okay, you can use a suction cup. Most people have screen, excuse me, screen protectors on. So I don't like using a suction cup because it can actually pull their screen protectors off as well. So what I'm gonna use is this thin uh, metal pry tool and we're gonna get between the metal frame here and then the plastic edge that's part of the screen. So we're just gonna go underneath like this Go along the side. Once you get along the side, you can twist. If you have a tool like this, you can twist it. It looks like this one, they had a replacement screen. And this frame is actually coming away from the glass. That shouldn't happen normally. So this phone actually has some issue. Maybe their battery was bad and pushing on it and it um, caused it to rip the frame away from the rest of the screen. But anyways, there we go. I'm going to see if I can somehow fix that frame a little bit with some super glue, but for now we're just going to leave it like that. All right. Once we got that, we're going to lift the screen up so that it's open like this. We're going to take the two screws out. I forgot to mention, but you also want to make sure to turn your phone off. Okay. There's a lot of dust inside here. So I'm going to try and brush this off. Oh, that dust actually is just stuck in there. It's not coming out. Anyways, again, you want to get all that dust, or not the dust, sorry. Um, you want to make sure that your phone is off before you do this, okay? All right, so as you can see, if I push the home button, it's off, okay? Now we're going to remove the screws here using a PH0 or JIS0 screwdriver, okay? So there's two screws here holding the battery connector in place. All right, 
just like that. Once you remove those two screws, sorry, I know it's zoomed out. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, once you remove those two screws, take this metal plate. You want to keep the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. Um, some of them are shorter, some are longer. All right, anyways, now we're going to pop up this little connector here. I just used my fingernail. You can use a plastic pie tool or whatever, but just get this and pop that up. Once you've done that, you want to press and hold the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds to drain any power that's on the uh, phone. That way there's a lot less risk of damaging it when we go to remove the whole screen. All right, technically you can do this repair without removing the screen, but to make it easier and less risk of damaging things, I'm going to remove the screen. If you have like a way to kind of mount this against a wall or a 90 degree thing, you could technically just tape this or strap it against like a 90 degree bracket. Like let's say you have something like, like this, it stays 90 degrees. You can basically just strap it onto here, okay? So actually, maybe let me do it this way. So it's I'll show you guys. It's a little bit easier this way. So I'm going to get some um, of this kind of tape here. So I have this painter's tape. Let me actually zoom out to make this easier to see. So I have this phone stand that it lets you adjust it. So I can actually open it up further if I wanted. And we're actually going to use this as a way to um, keep the phone screen open without having to... Um, take out the ribbon cables. This will actually be the easiest and quickest way to do a battery change so that you don't have to um, do a bunch of extra work removing extra cables. Okay, so basically we're gonna get this cable or the tape here. Okay, and I'm gonna tape one side over this side of the screen here and then wrap it over this. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Tape over this and then wrap it over here, okay? So here you can see, now the screen will keep itself in place. It's not gonna fall out or anything, okay? So something like that. You can use anything that can keep this angle and that it won't just fall over on you. All right, next we're going to remove the adhesive strips here. So these adhesive strips, you have to kind of stretch to release them, okay? So the way you do that is you peel this up first. Let me zoom in to make this easier to see. Okay, so peel this up first. Once you get this all peeled up, we're gonna basically stretch and pull this. This adhesive you wanna pull straight back, okay? Just like this, okay? And you wanna keep slowly pulling it straight back. Um, one thing you can do that will kind of work um, that I've seen other people do is they would use like a tweezer and then they would kind of just wrap it around the tweezer like a spaghetti. Um, so you can try it that way, but a lot of times um, this kind of adhesive is very fragile, so you want to be careful and go very slowly. If it gets a tear, you want to be very careful because once this thing tears, most of the time it gets um, pulled back underneath the battery, and then you're going to have a very tough time getting this battery out. You'll have to very carefully and slowly pry this up. So you just want to keep pulling this adhesive as you see. Okay, again, you want to go slowly and gently. like this and just keep going oh it's peeling up some adhesive over here okay just keep slowly peeling it see how long this thing stretches it's very stretches for a very long time just keep peeling pulling it back until it pops out okay and there we go. All right, so that shoots out. Okay, so here we go. We got this one. We're going to do the same thing with the other two. Just grab it. These ones are a little bit easier because they're not blocked by the headphone jack there. Okay, so just grab this and then we're going to just again pull it straight back. You want to try and keep it as flat as... Uh-oh. See, that's what happens. It sometimes will tear like that. So you want to be careful. Grab that and very slowly, oh no, this one's not going to come out, is it? All right, let me go with the tweezers here. I guess you guys are going to get to see what happens when the stuff breaks. So here you see it's just going in there and it's going to be nearly impossible to get now. So let's go ahead and do the other um, adhesive strip here. Hopefully this won't have the same issue. I don't know why this adhesive is just a lot of times really weak. 
Okay, this one's hopefully going to come out okay. So you want to go slowly and pull straight back. Okay, and we're just going to keep pulling and pulling and pulling. All right, you can't see my hand, but I'm probably like three feet away from the phone right now. Now I'm going to wrap it back closer. Oops, and continue pulling. Okay, and there we go, we got the second one out. So the center one, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, we'll try. Sometimes I can get a piece of it out and then I can use these pliers to kind of help, but as you can see, it's gone pretty far under there, so I don't know about that. Let's see, let's try it. Okay, oh no, yep, it's gone all the way under. There's no way I'm gonna get that one. So I guess now you guys will get to see what happens when the adhesive sucks and it just tears. So now what we're going to do, we're going to have to slowly, carefully try and pry this up. Luckily, we got at least one side out. And you want to be very careful because you don't want to um, damage the battery and then cause it to go on fire. Okay. So we're going to slowly try and pull it out. If you can somehow get a hold of some of the extra piece here. That it's kind of sticking up a little bit. I can maybe get it. We'll try again. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna try and sometimes you can use other stuff to kind of get the battery to kind of pry up higher. I'm gonna try sticking a popsicle stick under there. Okay. Okay, and maybe that will get it up higher. Let's see if we can grab the sticky part here. That's not going to work. What about with these small needle nose pliers? Okay, so I got the adhesive here. Let's see if it's going to go without tearing. No! I don't know what's going on with this one. It's tearing so easily. So I'm going to try and get underneath the battery here more. And see. But we might have to end up just prying up the whole thing because as you can see didn't want to go so let's go ahead and try and use this tool to pull some of the adhesive out towards me if it doesn't work then we're just gonna have to keep scraping until we get the entire adhesive strip up um, let's see here yeah nope this is gonna be a huge pain okay so these ones really suck when it breaks like this I'm just gonna try and shove the popsicle sticks in here and see if I can pry this up even further. Worst case, again, you have to like scrape the entire part of the adhesive out. But again, I'm gonna try and grab the adhesive under there by getting more and more of these popsicle sticks in underneath. What I'm doing is I'm pulling this up as I get another popsicle stick underneath. Okay. And slowly it will pull it up, hopefully enough that I can grab the adhesive under there. Okay, I know you guys can't really see, but I'm just trying to get underneath here. Got some more of the adhesive. All right, let's see if it's gonna peel out this time. Here we go. Okay, I think we got it. Come on, don't tear. Okay. I think we got it. All right, there we go. Once you get all those adhesive strips out, then you can go ahead and lift the battery out. As you can see, I did have to bend this battery some to do, be able to do that. Um, you can go ahead and just flatten it back down on your desk. All right. But as you can see, it lifted up part of the layer. So now there's a bubble here, but it's okay. This battery's bad. We're going to toss it. All right. So now that we've got this out here, you can see the original battery information. Okay, they have the part number 616-0772, all right, 2,915 milliamp hours. So as you can see, the new battery, so that's 2,915, this one is 4,250. So it's over 1,250 extra, right? What is this one again? Yeah, it's not even 3,000. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to get this new battery. Um, you want to actually get the 
um, battery connector in place first because a lot of times there's this extra slack here and it makes it difficult to put the battery back in. So what I like to do first is get the battery connector in, okay, like that, click it into place. Once you do that, you slide this side of the battery in while holding this down and then push that over. So now you can see that, okay, the battery is fitting right. Let's go ahead and pop the battery connector back out. Okay, all right, be careful with this. Let's lift this back out. All right, and then because we connected the battery, you do want to press and hold the power button again for 10 to 15 seconds just to drain it again, especially if you disconnected the screen cable. If you're using this method um, that I'm doing, there's uh, less risk of um, damage because you don't have to worry about any electricity shorting over here. Okay, let me actually zoom out a bit. Okay, so there we go, we got the battery. Next thing we're gonna do is apply the adhesive. You wanna make sure 100% that you're putting the adhesive on the right side, because if you get this wrong, um, you're basically gonna have to throw this adhesive out. You can use some regular double stick tape, um, just don't put too much, because then if you have to get the battery out again, it's gonna be a problem, but yeah. All right, so first thing you want is same thing like before. It had these black plastic tabs on top, so you're gonna want the adhesive to stick like that and then you're gonna want it to wrap around and stick on like this, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're gonna separate these two layers, and the best way to do this is we're gonna get the blue side. You're gonna to have to roll it backwards like this, okay? Make sure to push it down while you're rolling it, and then roll it back like this. If you just pull it straight back, you're gonna get bubbles all over this adhesive, and then it's not gonna sit flat, and then it's gonna cause problems when you go to um, put the battery in place it might cause the battery to push into the screen okay so again we're just rolling the um, blue tab backwards all right just like that now we got this completely off okay next thing we're going to do let's go ahead and take this again make sure you have it the right way so what you want is this these white tabs um the small ones where it's on the back of the black will stick here so what you're going to do is you're going to get the battery let's see here can i do this how do i show this okay so you'll get the battery stick it on top where you want those to go okay make sure it's parallel all right and then what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up and then we're going to fold this over okay so you want to be very careful with this make sure that again that it stays lined up fold this over and then stick this down on top. Okay, just like that. Make sure it's completely flat, right? If it has bubbles in it, you're most likely going to have to peel this off by stretching it away and then pulling it out just like the old, the other adhesive. All right, now we're gonna peel this blue one off. So this one's a little more difficult to get these to stay completely flat, but it's okay. All right, if you want, you can kind of stick this piece on here as you can see. Okay, and then we're gonna peel the blue one out. Okay, and then use the pink one to fold them back over the top. There we go. And then same like before, to get this adhesive out, you wanna roll it back again, just like the other one. So just like this, roll it backwards, and just slowly make sure to keep pressure down here to keep it from forming bubbles. Okay, and just slowly pull this pink one back to roll it away. Oops, sorry. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the battery back in now. Okay, get this back over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna hold the battery like this, okay? And then we're gonna get this connector in. All right, click that into place. All right, and then while you're holding this connector, again, you wanna push it over to the right as far as you can, and then slowly drop this battery into place. There we go. And then rub it so that it stays in place. And there we go. You can go ahead and power up the phone to make sure everything's working okay. You wanna be careful here because we do have this attached. I'm gonna turn it on, there you go. So it's working, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this tape off. All right, so be careful. I like to use this painter's tape because it doesn't stick too strong. So if I need to peel it off, I can not like really difficult to separate okay so just like that okay peel that up and there we go we're gonna go ahead and let this roll over here you can see okay 
Don't forget, we have to put back the screws for the battery connector. All right, you wanna make sure the screen's working okay as well. Oops, okay. So there we go. Let's go ahead and grab the connector here. Drop that back in place, all right? And then we're gonna get those screws and just put them back in. All right, so when I put these screws in, I like to loosely fit them first. Okay. Oh, this thing's kind of moving around. There we go, get the second screw. Same thing, get that screw in. All right, and tighten that down. Get the other screw, tighten that one down. And there we go. All right. So again, this one, the frame was coming out. So I'm going to see about um, gluing that back in so it doesn't get worse. So let's see here, this side. So here you can see the frame is separating from that plastic piece. Same thing with this side. I don't know. Um, oh, wow. It's all separating from the whole thing. Usually when the batteries go bad, that's what happens. So what I like to do is take some super glue and then you can just use like a toothpick or something and we'll use a toothpick to spread that out. So let me see here. Let me go find a toothpick and I will be back. All right, so I'm back, got a toothpick. So let's go ahead and see about gluing that piece down. So, all right, let's get the glue. Okay, you don't want too much. All right, because you don't want to get the glue on the other components inside. So we're just gonna stick the glue on the plastic parts here, okay? Oh man, it's gonna need a lot of glue here. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get more glue. So I just put a big blob of glue on the toothpick here. Again, we're gonna try and hold this out of the way. That might be too much, let me put some back. Okay, and then we're just gonna stick it all onto this plastic area up here. Usually you just wanna get it on the corners. Okay, need to get more. All right, and get it in those edges there. Okay, and then we need to get one on that corner as well. All right, so we're going to get these corners. If you want, you can go along the entire edge and try and get the glue on there. It is going to be somewhat of a pain. You do have to kind of hold this for about 10 to 20 seconds. Oh, actually, the super glue says 30 seconds. So, okay, let's go ahead and put the rest of the screen back together first while we can. So what you want to do is you hold the top down. Okay, then you want to kind of hold the middle up so that way when you push it down, it bows like this. All right, and then we're going to push the bottom in. All right, now that we got the bottom in and the top in, we can go ahead and push the side edges in. Now let's go ahead and put the um, P2 or Pentalobe uh, 0.8 screws back in. And we should be good to go. I'm going to super glue the rest of the frame so that the thing doesn't come apart, but... Uh, that's pretty much all there is to this. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe and share my channel with others. All right, if this video helped you save a bunch of money, please consider throwing a little my way. I know with phone repairs, you're probably not gonna save much money doing it by yourself, but um, every little bit helps. And thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. All right, let's drop this. Bye.